Cleveland. I'm Thomas Cagle from Cleveland. A couple things just about the data, because that's what it's all about. Yep. Um, on the Cleveland map, whichever one you pick, just be aware of the Birch Road area. There's a handful of kids there. If you mm -hmm. can write down the Birch Road area, whatever you do, try to keep it with the Cleveland organization that's already there because of the feeder patterns, if you will, to Bennett's Mill Elementary School if you could, since it's such a handful of children. Is that that same yeah. little street yeah. that was yes. got Right we did. Okay. Yeah. It's been back and forth twice. This yeah. will make it the third time. If there could be some consistency, that would be good. Okay. Just to give you an idea, as opposed to just talking about the red dots that may be there, Cleveland Elementary School opened this year about 490 students. We just now passed 540 in three months. So if you don't think growth is out there, I know it's not county-wide, right. but it definitely is in Cleveland. So putting it anything in the 80s or 90s really concerns me as a parent of that area simply because of the amount of growth we have seen and will continue to see in those neighborhoods across the street. And then thirdly, my last point is just as a point of note, the English as a Second Language challenge that's presenting itself there within the school. Um, right now, capacity is involved because of the number of classrooms we have set aside to do that. We're using a, a classroom and a half right now to do that. Um, with some of the lines as they go and with some of the growth, it's going to happen to all of us. We really need to think about that as a capacity concern for all the schools that are here. Yeah. Um, no count of that in your inventory, did you? Okay. Did, would you say the current enrollment at Cleveland was today? Um, it just went over 540, I believe it was 541. Okay, so it was 539. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Crab apple. Hey, I'm Melinda Randolph for Crab Apple Lane. Um, I have one pocket, a neighborhood Sedgwick. Each of you have received an email from them. Um, in 2002, they were Kedron Elementary, they were moved to Crab Apple. And now in six years, they'll be at their third elementary school. There's only a handful of nine students. Um, it's a transportation issue, um, overlapping a Crab Apple and, and Cleveland bus that will continue to overlap one-tenth of a mile from their subdivision. So I promised them I would speak up for, okay. for that neighborhood and ask you to take a look at that. Okay, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> the, the, the email that I read from Greg said it was a transportation non-issue. <laughs> Do you have anything to add, East Fayette? Y'all yes. have names of your own. <laughs> and just with regard to your numbers, not anything specific to East Fayette, but with regard to the numbers that you have, with uh -huh. with the current numbers, you're showing that there's 939 open seats, so to speak, with the current enrollment for a 100% capacity. Yes. And five years from now, if East Fayette stays open, we have nine, oh, either 982 or, well, 1,342 students, or 982 according to you with the extra 300 plus mm -hmm. coming in. Even if from that standpoint we show we don't need a school based upon these numbers, mm -hmm. in five years from now because of the growth that is coming on the western side, whether it's from Cleveland or the western corridor in this county, numbers over here are going to say we don't need a school, but numbers in Peachtree City, Tyrone is going to show you that you will need a school. Mm -hmm. And so I guess for the sake of clarification and so that we're understanding each other, in my part, understanding, regardless of what you do, whether you close East Fed, repurpose it, you're going to still need the school on that west side. And so that's just, I want to make sure that we're on the same page understanding that. Okay. okay. Thank you. Hood, did you have one or two? It's just me. Okay. We're happy. We're okay. Happy. <laughs> <laughs> so That's the most he's ever talked about. <laughs>